everybody's got to get out and vote and donate. Um, and she's also a, a historic candidate. You know, it's going to be the first woman president. Um, and that's incredibly exciting. And, you know, she's Indian, she's black, she's everything. You can be more than one thing. It's incredible. You know, I'm Jewish and Irish. Um, I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Um, you know, it's just get out there and, and, and vote and donate and like take advantage. This is such an important time right now. And this this with this wave of energy that's happening, we got, got to keep going with it. So please do everything you can. Let's bring in now Fox News contributor, uh, political podcaster, Brad Palumbo. Brad, thank you very much for joining us. Look, this transformation is quite stunning, really, because Kamala Harris was considered a pretty much incompetent vice president, and suddenly she's the new Obama. Yeah, even a couple months ago, before this all went down and she became the nominee, the New York Times' writers, they ranked her as the least electable of the possible Biden replacements. But now, because the switch has been made, they all flipped on a dime. And you got to give the mainstream media credit for one thing, it's message and discipline control. But look, they're going to have to shelter her because she is a gaff machine. She is cringe personified. So what they're going to have to do is try to keep her away. She's still has not done an interview or a press conference since becoming the nominee and it's been more than two weeks they're gonna have to try to hide her away until now on election day and hope that just their heavily filtered media coverage is all people will be exposed to or her edited TikTok videos which i will admit are, are well done but because if she's actually scrutinized for all her flip-flops for the biden administration's many failures and calamities then I think Americans will really uh, lose a lot. The shine will come off. They'll really see 
what's there and, and they won't be so interested. But if they can successfully pull a Joe Biden in 2020 and just mm. campaign from the basement, it might just work out for them. But it is kind of a sham for the democratic process. Mm -mm. Well, she is on show. She She's doing events, just not rigorous interviews um, or press conferences. But at least she is out of the proverbial basement. But Brad, you know, this strategy is clearly working because the polls are showing that she's now catching up to Trump. But it is becoming a major news story that she hasn't done an interview in 15 days. So how long is she, is Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party actually going to be able to stick with this strategy of not sitting down with a serious, tough journalist? Well, unfortunately, you know, people in right of center media, Fox News or The Wall Street Journal, they're not going to listen to us, right? It's going to have to come from The New York Times. It's going to have to come from the liberal media establishment actually sticking to their journalistic principles rather than their rank partisan bias and calling her out and saying, listen, you're running for president of the United States. You've got to do actual interviews, not just fan service, not just events with celebrities. You've got to sit down and be held to account because she has flip flopped on everything under the sun just in the last few weeks from healthcare policy to fracking to so many other things. Mm. She's done a complete 180 and not really explained any of it. Plus, there's so much she needs to answer for from this administration's record, from the inflation and the policies they had that contributed it to it, to the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan that left many U.S. service members dead unnecessarily that could have been avoided. So many things. But if they just want to try, what the campaign wants to do is just avoid all that and just do like cooking videos with celebrities between now and November. So yeah. it will come down to the liberal media establishment. Are they going to actually stick up for journalism and demand that Kamala does some interviews? She will listen mm. if they do. Or are they just going to keep their Democratic partisan hats on and go along till now in November? Yeah. Just quickly before you go, uh, we've had the big news that there could be a recession in the United States. This at precisely the same time that Kamala Harris has claimed the economy is in top shape in the U.S. You've got about 30 seconds, but this is now going to be a big problem for her ahead of the election. It has, and it will be a problem because it has been a problem. They keep bragging about Bidenomics when Americans cannot afford groceries. So now if we do end up going into a recession, their talking points on the economic <clears throat> agenda will only ring even more empty.